Hello, uh, I'm Richard and this is just a quick tutorial on how to build a 20-foot shipping container using the Sweet Home 3D software to use as a base for um, designing a shipping container home. The first thing you're going to need is to know the size of your shipping container. So I've created a little diagram for my own use here that shows the interior and exterior measurements as well as um, height and door measurements and as you can see from this diagram our end walls are 85 millimeters thick compared to our side walls which were only 44 millimeters thick but just have these measurements on hand uh, for when you're designing your shipping container so that you can get everything proportionately correct. Okay, let's open our Sweet Home 3D software. I'm going to assume that if you're here looking at this, you already have the software and you're reasonably familiar with it, so I'm not going to um, tell you too much about how to use the program. So the first thing to do, the simplest thing I've found, is just to um, firstly make the floor which we know is internal measurements is roughly 590 by 235 which we can't get to 235 we can only go to 234 or 236 so 236 is the preferred measurement there and that is our floor Next we construct our walls. And I found the easiest thing to do with that is just to build four walls around your floor. Double click so that all four corners join up tidily. And then we'll go in and modify those walls to suit our container measurements. So for a start, we know our container is 260 centimeters high. And we have two different wall thicknesses. So our end walls are 85 mils or 8.5 uh, centimeters. So we'll get one of those measurements in for a start. And while we're in here, we will also texture our shipping container. Now, you're able to import your own textures into Sweet Home 3D and I have sourced a grey corrugated shipping container uh, texture off the internet and I've also modified that to create a blue one. Um, so we'll go with the blue one today. And We'll do that on the inside and the outside. Here we go. It goes four shipping container walls. We will just uh, select our side walls. And just adjust those to the 45 or 44 millimeters that they are, or four and a half centimeters. There we go, so we have two thin side walls and two thick end walls. Okay, and now we just select each wall individually and just move that up to our floor because with our reasonably correct inside measurement and our reasonably correct wall measurement, by butting those up we should have something that's fairly close to the actual specifications of a shipping container. At this stage we can actually just check. If we click on our end wall, we can see that the measurement in here, the distance between the two endpoints is 240. So it's reasonably close. 
inferior end walls, we're at 600, which is shipping container 605. Um, that's end point, so I don't know if it's the actual end tip or from the point of the center, but roughly speaking, that is correct. There we go, so we have a basic four sided shipping container box. So the next thing we need to do is put in a floor. And if you come into the miscellaneous section here, uh, where Sweet Home 3D gives you a number of items to use, there is a basic box, untextured, uncolored cube that could be manipulated to make various objects. So we will call this our container floor and we know that our container width is 235 and our container length is 605 so we'll just go slightly shorter than that and we're going to give our floor a height of 17.5 and we will put a texture on our floor a wood texture there's a number of wood textures that come with Sweet Home 3D uh, I tend to favour the oak for the floor and just say yes to that and there we go one shipping container floor another idea is probably to Just make that mat. That can be slid into place in our shipping container. And slight adjustments can be made to the size to fit it in. There we go, so there's no edges of light, there's one slight edge of light coming through there, so we'll just make that slightly wider, so now our shipping container has a floor, now we will give it a roof, Which is the same process. Now we're going to give this a thickness uh, to match the walls. So we'll go 4.5 and we're going to need to give this an elevation. So we know that our container is 2.6 meters high. And we're taking away this, so we'll go two, five, five, and we will modify the top of our container to match the walls, and the bottom of our roof we will give a bleached wood finish too. And we can just slide that into place. And there we have a shipping container. So the next thing we need to do to that is oh, we'll just is to add a door. Now you can actually turn the roof off and on to be able to see what's happening inside. 
right back to our shipping container door or at least the door opening yeah. Sweet Home 3D gives you a service hatch which if you can see from that little uh, preview there is a very thin edged hole as you can see here so if we just double click on that container door opening and we know that our container door opening is 234 centimeters by 228 centimeters and we will give that a matching texture We should probably give that an elevation of 18, which is slightly above the measurement that we used for the floor. Okay. One blue shipping container. This can now be used as a basis for um, chopping and changing and adding furniture to it. Um, for example, to recreate something like this 20 foot shipping container that was on the Living Big in the Tiny Home um, YouTube site, which I've already started to recreate uh, in the software so that can show you kind of what can be done so have fun with that thank you very much